All right, let's look at this problem. Let's look at finding an equation for this line. A line passing through the points. A line passing through the points 10, 8, and 7, negative 1. Now, what am I not giving you here that I've been giving you in all the other problems? So can you find the slope? Yes. All right. So remember, your formula for slope is what? It's y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Now, it doesn't really matter how you have these points labeled. What matters is that you keep the first point the first point and the second point the second one. So if you want to say this, x1, y1, and x2, y2, that's, that's fine. Okay. So in this case, what's y2? 1, negative 1. Negative 1, negative one minus, what's y1? 8. Over, what's x2? 7 minus, and then y, excuse me, x1 is 10. All right, so what's my numerator? Seven. Your numerator? Oh my. Negative one minus negative eight is what? Sorry, negative nine, what's your denominator? So when I finish this, negative nine over negative three, what do you get? So this right here is only part of my answer. This is my slope. Now, question for you is, how am I going to find the equation for my line? I've got my slope. What's the equation for the line? What am I going to, going to use? Slope yeah, let's use slope-intercept form, because this is going to be a lot easier and faster, probably, than the point-slope form. Yeah. So if I do y equals mx plus b, I know that my slope is going to be 3, but what will I use for x and y? Which point do I use? It doesn't matter because here's the thing. These points are on the same line, right? So it means the y-intercept, no matter which point I use, is still going to be the same. So I would probably use which one, do you think? Using one of the positive numbers, that's what I would do. So my x value is 10, my y value is 8. Take this equation and solve it for b. So what do we have? So 8 equals 30 plus b, which means b equals how much? Careful. B equals negative 22, so there's my B, here's my slope, what's my equation? Y equals what? Y equals 3x minus minus 22. Now before you go on, make sure that this does check out. If I plug in 10, 3 times 10 is 30, 30 minus 22 is 8. Plug in 7, 3 times 7 is 21, 21 minus 22 negative is negative 1. So both of those points check out. That's exactly what they're supposed to do. Questions about that guy? First, you've got to find your slope. Using the slope and either of those points, you can find everything else. But you've got to have the slope first for these guys. I uh, just, you know, if I give you another one, I say the points are equal to negative 5, 3. 
and 3, negative 2. What would you do first? Let's find our slope, the formula for slope. Every time you use a formula, you write it down. So it's the change in y over the change in x. Right? So if we label these, you know what? Earlier we said this is x1, y1, this is x2, y2. I want to flip these around just so you see it doesn't really matter. If I say this is x2, y2, and this is x1, y1, it's not really going to matter. Okay. So in this case, what's y2? Y2 is 3. 3 minus what's y1? Got a lot of negatives, so pay attention here. X2 is negative 5 I minus what's X1? Two. No. X1 is 3. So what do you get in the numerator? Uh, we get 5 because minus and minus becomes a positive. And what about in the denominator? You get, neg you get negative 5, and it's going to be a minus 3, so it's a negative 8. All right, so how do you want to do this? Point slope formula or the slope intercept form? Oh, excuse me. Ooh. That's being recorded. It's frustrating. So if I do y equals mx plus b, we've got fractions, so we're going to have to deal with the fractions there. Okay, and I doesn't care what I don't care what point you use. Let's use um, three negative two. The numbers are smaller, so the y value is negative two. Your slope is negative five eighths, and your x is three. So we get negative two is equal to negative. 15 eighths plus b. How am I going to rewrite negative 2 so that that is in terms of eighths? I'm missing the factor of 8. So this guy is negative 16 eighths. I'm going to move the 15 eighths over, that's a positive. So that means that b equals what? So b is negative 1 eighth. There's my slope. So when I put these guys together, what do I get? Y equals what? 5 over 8x plus b minus 1 eighth. Negative 5 eighths x. Minus 1 over 8. Questions about that guy? Yes. 